Hello everyone, it's GigaBeef here with a surprise video because BSG have surprised us with some barters. Now they're at level one traders and they're for various bits of electronics. So nothing screams out as amazing value to me because all the items have ripped in price. But if you are at a lower level, you don't have access to some of these items, it gives you the ability to play around with them. Things like thermal scopes, classics armor, some of the really high end ammo, things like that. So there's nothing amazing here, but it's interesting because this is clearly a nod to the Lightkeeper, who is going to be the new trader in the Lighthouse expansion whenever we get that. And he is a specialist in naval and radio electronics, which is really all the items that we see that you need to actually do the barters. Things like the gyro tax, the sas drive, Drives, military cables, that kind of thing. My thought is that maybe all of these high-end items might end up on him and not on any of the normal traders, or you need maybe something from him to be able to barter it with the other traders, something like that, putting him as a kind of gatekeeper to these high-end items potentially and increase the scarcity and the rarity of things like thermals and, and that stuff. So we'll have to see exactly about that, but let's dive into the barters and have a look at what's on offer at the different traders. Let's just whip through all of these quickly at Prapple 1. If you go here to the barters, we have a 120 pack of BS, for SSDs, we have an eight pack of BP for the VAL and the VSS, or one Iridium, and we have PPBS or Igolnik as it is more commonly known, 30 pieces for an SAS drive. Also here we have the Zook 6A, which is an armor that I've basically complained about not existing in the game at all, has come back for two of these arrays, the phased element arrays, which is kind of interesting. Therapist doesn't have really that much, but she's got some stims, which are kind of interesting. We have the SJ-1 for an SSD, the ETGs, the super fast healing one for the VPX, the mule stim for again, another array, the SJ-9 combat stimulant, which is the interesting one that comes with the cultists and decreases your body temperature and makes it harder for you to be seen on thermal scopes, which is kind of cool. And that is from a vertex. So that's basically it for Therapist. Now over at Skier, Go to number one on him, trade level one. We have both the Reap IR and the Flare. So these are expensive and there's lots of different pieces that you need for this, but it gives you access to them right here if you want them. Whizzing over to Peacekeeper one, we have a few things here. We have an individual round of Lapua Magnum AP. Now, I mean, these rounds do go for 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 K even at the end of the wipe where you could actually buy them on the fleet. So I guess it's not unreasonable to put them up for, for this, but it's pretty expensive having to use one of these to buy an individual one. I mean, these are going for 200K. So if you want to buy Lapua Magnum AP for 200K, then be my guest. But yeah, that's that's pretty nuts. We also have the M45A1 for a military cable. Then there is a bunch of other guns in here, which like the G28 for one of these Akofti M radios and an Iridium. And we also have the SCAR H that is for three VPXs and then the Thor integrated carrier body armor. And that is for one of these magnetic tapes and another array. Oh, spinning over to Mechanic One, he has a bunch of barters. We actually have these Meta Mags that no one's really using anymore because the green battery trade is too expensive. And these are for two more tachyometers. We have the Range Finder here for a military cable, which is kind of cool. We have the red buffer tube for VPX. Then there's a couple of guns that probably aren't worth it. There's all of the variants of the USP, one for the SAS drive, one for the Iridium and one for the SSD. These all differ very slightly, but I mean, they're all pistols. So is there really any point in this? I think they're just there just for show, to be honest with you. And then finally, Ragman, who has some pretty amazing things actually over at tier one, again on him, you can get the Reese T for one of these radios, which is pretty insane. All three versions of the Gen 4 are over here for one of the phased array elements and a Gen 4 body armor for more tachyometers and a military cable for the assault version. And then we have the mobility version again for Iridium and Vertex. Then we've got the hex grid, the three SSDs and two magnetic tapes. And finally, the Ars Armor CPC, one of the best tactical rigs that only protects Thorax in the game for two VPXs and four SAS drives, which is pretty nuts. Now, as I said, a lot of the items here that you're bartering for have jumped in price by a significant amount. So just keep an eye and see if they settle down to somewhere that's sensible if you want to try and grab these Reap IRs or, or whatever. But we're going to have to see exactly how it shakes up because prices are all over the place right now. In terms of what this means, I'm still in the camp of getting Lighthouse expansion around the 28th of April, as per the screenshots that we saw. We will see exactly whether it's on that day or around then, but I think that's quite likely. And we'll get the trader with the first iteration of in raid traders, which is going to be super cool. And then after that, I still think that we're going to get streets, the first iteration, maybe in two months time from now. I don't think it's going to come as a surprise. So I'm a hashtag believe nice guy denier. 
So we will see, but it's all exciting stuff and I hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, go and have a look at the barters and see what you can get. Thank <laughs> you.